I'm a tad bit disappointed. I old. Now we'll just fold in those sides. Welcome back everybody. It is Saturday evening. Before it started getting cold again, the kids were out here doing some fun stuff. We have this gourd. I don't know, one of Titus's customers gave it to him. They said we could just clean it up and then put a hole in it and make a little birdhouse. And it also has seeds in it that we can plant. Jonah and Sissy have been rock painting and making pine cone buddies. Pals. Pals, pine cone pals. What's this dude's name? Look at him smiling. I like your hair. These are his arms. Jonah did these. They look like Easter and Valentine's Day with the bunny. I did them for mine. You did one? Yeah. Where's yours? Um, upstairs. Oh, it's upstairs? Yeah. All right, we are coming inside. We're about to make some cookie bars, but they're also kind of like pie. Pie bar cookies. Cookie pie bars. Pie in the form of cookies. You got a cookie? Yeah. Oh, you don't like it? He was eating one of these pecan turtle cookies. So I was gonna make these fruit bar pie things last night, but the kids wanted cookies instead. Cece made those little Lisa Frank sugar cookies and Jacob made these. We well, can't really see them now. There's only one piece left, but they were the Toll House turtle cookies. I can't remember for sure what they're called. Pecan turtle cookies or something. Anyway, they have caramel, chocolate chips, and pecans in them. Manly doesn't like pecans. He thought it was just a chocolate chip cookie, I guess. Need Thanks. something to drink? Uh-huh. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is cream together the butter and the sugar. We need two cups of sugar and one cup of softened butter. I'm gonna soften my butter in the microwave real quick. We also need to make some butter here in just a little bit because this is my last store-bought sticks, but I do have some cream that I can make some with. Now, I think you could also use sugar cookie dough for this, like just buy some store-bought sugar cookie dough. How much sugar did I just put in here, y'all? I get to talking. We need four eggs. Now we're putting in the butter. We're gonna go ahead and start creaming these two together. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla and a fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract. Once we get these cookie pie bars in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and start supper. Now we're gonna put in three cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna mix in between each one. And I'm also gonna throw in a teaspoon of salt. Where is that salt? Did I ever get it out? It's up there. Salt, where do you go? It was up there. It was up there, you didn't you, Manny? Yeah, I sprayed the A's. He calls any letters A's. It's a 25. It says 25? Yeah, it is. Looks old. Look, Mom, I like it says 25. I think it says 17. Yeah, 17. I actually, I old. I'm much bigger in top. All right, bring it over the batter. We're gonna put about three cups of it onto this pan, maybe about three and a half cups. And you're gonna spread it out, okay? Okay. Okay, now you're gonna take the back of this yeah. and spread this all over like that. Can you do that? Okay. Oh, wow. Very good. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. You're doing good. Okay, you keep spreading it while I get the other stuff ready. Okay. That was done. I think you broke my leg. All right, I think you broke your leg? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I hope not. Oh, what is that cherry stuff? That is cherry pie filling. I don't like cherry pie. You don't like cherry pie filling? Mm-mm, it's yuck. <laughs> what? I don't 
like it. You don't like it? This half's gonna be cherry, Cece. The other half is gonna be blueberry. So you just spread it. Don't come past the half huh. here. You can do all cherry or all blueberry, but you will need two cans of pie filling or one of the really big cans. These cans are 21 ounces. Manny, which team are you on? Blueberry or cherry? Cherry. Cherry? cherry. I thought you said cherries were yuck. Um, I like blueberry. <laughs> He just says something junk if he doesn't like the way it looks. We have a little bit of the batter left, so we're just gonna drop little pieces of it. Not even a full cookie scoop, just a little. All right, now this is going in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check it at 20 and see if it's done, but anywhere from 20 to 35 minutes. Okay, y'all, tonight we're having some Southwest crispy beef wraps. We've made these before, but with chicken, and it's been a long time ago. Thought about doing cheeseburger, crispy cheeseburger wraps. Now, those are good. We've done those before, too. But I have these chips and salsa we can have to go with these, so we're gonna go with the Southwest ones. So we've got about two pounds of ground beef in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this onion in. All right, we're gonna cook this until the ground beef is done, and then we'll drain it. I'm gonna crisp them on the black stone because I can do them all at one time. So we'll just put them together in here and then take them out there and brown them on the black stone. We're using these big flour tortillas. What sound? Your washing machine. Oh, the washing machine's making a sound. Yeah, That's how it washes your clothes. Thanks, washing machine. We're kind of mad at Mr. Dryer because he's not wanting the heat right now. <laughs> All right, the cookie pie bars are done. We're gonna let them cool while I'm cooking supper and then we'll make a glaze to drizzle over the top of it. All right, we've got this drain. We're gonna put in just a little bit of salsa, about a fourth of a cup. Maybe that was close to a half a cup. A little bit of taco seasoning. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some cheese in here so it can melt in with the meat. And then we'll also put cheese on the wraps. Okay, so I've got the black stone heating up. Now you can add black beans and corn to these. I think we're just gonna go with the ground beef and cheese and salsa, but it would definitely make them more Southwestern. Do y'all want black beans on them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, they want black beans, so I'll open up the can real quick. <laughs> okay, so we put some of the meat mixture, That's cheese, funny. some salsa, and some of the black beans. Now we'll just fold in those sides and then wrap it up. And we'll take them out there to the black stone and just brown them on both sides and make them crispy. You sure can. We got the kitchen cleaned up from supper. Crispy wraps were great. We're about to put the glaze on our pie cookie bar things, but we accidentally put too much cream in the powdered sugar and we're out of powdered sugar. So we're gonna make our own. A few of y'all have told me that you can put the sugar in your blender, blend it up, and it will turn it into powdered sugar. We'll see if it works. This huh? Let's see if this works right here. What about that? Woo, no. <laughs> it it can use a little bit more. Need to do a little more? Okay, yeah. do it a little more, Sissy. Let's see. Yeah, I wonder who ever discovered you could do that. <laughs> you learn something new every day, everybody. I mean, I would have never known that. Powdered sugar. That'd probably do it. Yeah, try that. Uh, take my bath. Yeah, you ready to take your bath? Yeah. Okay. I have shampoo in my hair. You do? blueberry one, the cherry. The bottom, it's actually more cake-like than I thought. It's almost like a cake cookie. Oh, you know what it's like? You know those sugar cookies that you can get from the grocery stores? Walmart has them too and they just, it's like a thick sugar cookie with frosting on top and sprinkles. That's kind of what the bar part is like. 
frosting. You like the frosting? <laughs> I'm a tad bit disappointed because I thought it was gonna be be more like a sugar cookie bottom. Sugar cookies are my weakness, especially the kind that are a little bit chewy. That's what I thought this was gonna be like, but I mean, it is still good. It's just I'm trying to get down here where y'all can see. See how it kind of looks like a cake? I mean, it's good. I just had my hopes up for sugar cookie bottom. Just get the sugar cookie dough and flatten it out. Just that's what I would do. <laughs> they are good though.